Monsieur le Marquis. I'm listening, Aegis. You lied to me, General. Now I know all about your machinations. And what could you possibly think you know? I know that you raised the National Guard for the sole purpose of taking command of it. There was nothing spontaneous about the uprising. Do you have any evidence to support your accusations? I do. I have the manifesto. Bon sang. Why resort to this manipulation? You must understand what I have done. I did for the good of the kingdom. I wanted to stop this massacre while protecting the Queen and the Dauphin. In the name of the people, Aegis. But an actual uprising of the people would have inevitably led to disaster. Only professional soldiers could organize and lead the resistance. Who were your accomplices? My brothers in arms. The brave men of the Régiment de Saint-Ange. Veterans of the American War. Men who, at the Battle of Yorktown, brought an empire to its knees. Alas, we gravely underestimated the enemy's forces. We thought we would face an infantry supported by a handful of machines, but an entire army of automats. It was unthinkable. Some accuse you of harboring a lust for power. The circumstances were to your advantage. These aspersions are all too familiar to me. But tell me, if I wanted the crown for myself, why did I not take it when I returned from America? When I had seasoned troops at my command and the people sang my praises with one voice? No, that makes no sense. Though I readily admit that I do believe I am worthy of fulfilling an important role for the queen after her son is crowned. Lieutenant General of the Kingdom, for example. Or even, if circumstance requires, the Regent. Voila. Now you know everything. I haven't left anything out. However, this truth, if it were made public, would play right into my enemy's hands. So I ask you not to reveal anything I've just told you, and to give me the manifesto. C'est entendu, General. Here. Aegis, by doing this, you're not saving my honor. You're saving the future of the entire kingdom. Oh, and one more thing. Can you tell me where I can find my detractor? The one who told you the rumors about me? I cannot tell you anything, General. Oh, no matter. I will not let this serpent continue to vilify me. I shall get redress for these aspersions in the end. Do as you wish, General de Lafayette. Goodbye, Monsieur le Marquis. Monsieur Marat. Madame? I'm surprised to find you here. Did you follow me? Didn't you know? The Duke's allies are always impeccably informed. Some even say that we have eyes and ears everywhere. What do you want from me? To tell you the truth, I can't wait to hear what you've discovered about the matter at hand. And I was afraid you might leave me in the lurch. You can never be too cautious these days. That's why I decided it would be better for me to come to you. I found no incriminating facts. Nothing to indicate that the Marquis was involved in a conspiracy. Come now, what do you mean? You sure you're not leaving anything out? Why do you assail this man so? Because I will not permit things to go from bad to worse. I will not allow the Patriots, who are now fighting our tyrant, to suffer yet another oppressor. That's why, in the name of the French people, I ask you one last time, do you have any proof to give me? No. You must believe me. Eh bien. If that's true, then there's no hope for us. I must admit defeat. We will have either the King or Lafayette, one despot or another. In either case, my fate is sealed. I will soon join the Duke in exile, and I will abandon my beloved people to their doom. I have no other choice. <laughs> 